That's a compliment, Mr. Waj. That's he's a he's a superhero. I'll it's, a take superhero. It. it's like good stuff, Marvel. All right. So he is the assistant principal in charge of the business and fine arts academy. And then we have Mr. Pilner, who's outside with the red jacket. Wave Mr. Pilner. That's a compliment, Mr. Waj. That's it a, it. a superhero. Yeah. And we have Mr. Pilner is in charge of the Academy, the Business Academy, Academy, and then we have Mr. Pilner oh, outside with the red jacket. Wave, Mr. Um, why do I feel like I can hear myself? Oh, because somebody's thing you is could. Cool. So if everybody will need to mute, because we're going to start uh, live streaming on YouTube. So if you have this open on YouTube and you have yourself unmuted, then you're going to hear it. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. So um, again, then I just want to introduce the counselors, Miss Arboleta, if you can wave Miss Arboleta right there. And then we have Miss Monahan and Miss Olson is one of our counselors and Mr. Flanagan with the hoodie on, there you go and the glasses, Miss Otero. And then we have Miss Dembski in the red room, repping Wilbur Cross hard, right? Um, so those are, so every, all the grow, and then we have Mr. Vallis who decided to sh uh, share, uh, come on. He is one of our culinary teachers. And then we have Cody, AKA ninth grader, who's getting a free late pass from Ms. Johnson for having this camera on, woohoo. Good job, Cody, you're the man. All right, um, everybody else who had their cameras on then they turned them off, but it's all good. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things on what you can expect. Um, just to start off, I do not know when we are gonna come back to school. I, I heard about it the same time you guys did that because of the health department and COVID and the New Haven numbers are really high with COVID infection rates for safety that we're gonna stay remote. I don't know how long that's gonna be. It could be a month, it could be two months, it could be several months. Um, but I wanted us to meet um, to go over a couple of things because it's the end of the marking period, okay? So I'm gonna go over a PowerPoint with you guys. Um, if you have friends who are not logged on, um, we have, this can hold 300 people and then we also have it live on YouTube so people can watch this so your parents can watch it as well. Um, so I'm gonna go over some things. If you have questions or you're not sure about something, write it in the chat and Mr. Wajanowski will answer it if it's not answered when I go through this presentation. And then at the end, if we have time, I'll answer any questions that you may have, okay? So Ms. Munoz, I am ready. Um, so again, so I kind of already introduced the people the grownups for each academy. Mr. Wajanowski is business and fine arts. And then Ms. Uh, Ms. Olson and Ms. Arboleta and Ms. Otero, if you guys can wave. So if you're in the business and fine arts academy, which we call BFA, those are your grownups that you would go to, all right? If you are an international academy. Hello, Ms. Hi, good morning. Um, if you're an international academy, your assistant principal is Ms. Brillante, wave Ms. Brillante, and Ms. Dembski or Ms. Bruller will be your counselors. So make sure you, they, you wave so they know who you are. Okay. Again, if you're in the Health and Culinary Sciences Academy, Mr. Pilner is your assistant principal, and Ms. Monahan and Ms. Arboleta are your counselors. Okay. And then if you're in the Law and Public Service Academy, Ms. Brunson, you've waved Ms. Brunson, is your assistant principal. And then Ms. Otero, Mr. Flanagan, and Ms. Bruller will be one of your counselors. Okay. So some other people, they're not on this call, but we do have student intervention specialists and security officers who are at the school to help keep you safe and help you navigate the building. And if you have any issues, you can always go to them uh, for help if you don't feel comfortable coming to one of the assistant principals or myself or a teacher. Hi, man. Hi, good morning, my people. <laughs> All right, so the, the reason why we're meeting is I want to, I always have meetings at the beginning of the new marking period. And next week, the new marking period is going to start. So I thought it was important that we talk about the rest of the year and important things. So in this meeting, we're going to talk about credits, 
your transcript, what does it mean, school and community involvement, attendance, and what you need to do to be successful, okay? So high school is very different from middle school. In high school, you go to the next grade based on how many credits you earn, and you earn credits by passing classes. Each of your classes is either one full credit, and some of your classes are half a credit, 0.5. Okay, so your English, math, social studies, science, art class, um, you know, PE, uh, world language, whether Spanish, Italian, all of those are one credit. And then you have some classes that are half a credit. Those are usually electives, uh, which you guys know at know in middle school as specials. So in order to graduate, um, to to go into tenth grade, at the end of the year, you have to earn a minimum of seven credits. To go to 11th grade, you have to earn a minimum of 14. To go to 12th grade, 21, and you need 26 credits to graduate, okay? So please make sure that you know this, 26 credits to graduate, that's how many credits you have to earn in order to walk the stage in four years. Okay, next slide. Miss, I have a question. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, if we're, I'm gonna mute everybody. If you can put your questions in the chat, we'll answer them in the chat. Okay, so if you can write your questions in that chat, we'll answer them in there, okay? So in ninth grade, you will need to take and pass all of the following classes, English, math, science, social studies, world language. A world language is either Spanish, French, Italian, Latin or Arabic, those are the or those are the world languages we offer. And then three electives. Your electives could be an art class, a music class, um, one of the specialized PE classes, um, auto tech or, or a class like that, you know, so you have three electives that you have to pass. In order to get credit, credit remember, your credit is attached to a class. So in order for you to earn credits, you need to make sure you pass your classes, okay? So English is one credit, math is one credit, science is another credit, social studies. So all of those classes equal are one credit. So if you do, you have eight classes this year. So if you pass all eight classes, then you go, um, you earn a total of eight credits, okay? Next slide, please. Okay. I wanna to talk to you guys about your transcript. I know this is a lot of information. We're gonna, in, again, you can look at it again later. If you have a question when we get off, you can always come back and ask us. Every student when they graduate from Wilbercross High School, this is your transcript. Right now, as a ninth grader, your transcript is blank because you haven't done all your classes. At the end of the year, your transcript will have all the information that you need um, that you're basically your academic career. So it will tell you if you look where it says grade nine, at the end of this year, once you finish ninth grade, this information is gonna be put on your transcript where it's gonna tell you, okay, you took world history, phi chem, maybe Italian, intro to art, freshman seminar, English, algebra, and it's gonna give you the classes that you take. And then it's gonna tell you the grade you, that you received in that class and the credits, okay? And you're gonna have, and this is, this is your year to start building your transcript. It is important that you do well every year of high school, but really important that you do well ninth grade because the statistics tell us if you don't do well in ninth grade, you most likely won't do well in your other grades. So we want you to start off strong. And every year at the end of the year, we will add all the classes that you take to your transcripts. Your transcript is what will be sent to your colleges. And even sometimes when you get a job at McDonald's or you know a, a job while you're in high school, they'll ask for your transcript because they wanna see what kind of student are you? Did you get decent grades? Also, if you look to your right, it gives you your academic summary. It tells you your grade point average. It tells you how many credits you earned. It also tells your attendance, okay? So this piece of paper is basically gonna be the story of your high school career. You know, what classes you took, how did you do, and your attendance, okay? And this is what some employers and colleges are gonna look like. You guys already know the bell schedule. I'm not gonna go over that. It's pretty much the same. Um, so you guys know that. 
Um, I'm also going to skip this because this is more important when we come back for hybrid. But when we come back from hybrid uh, to hybrid, when you guys get to the school, there'll be people in the hallways to show you uh, how to get around the building. Okay. I wanted to show you a sample of your schedule if you also didn't see it. So we have an A day, B day schedule. So on your A days, you go to your A day classes, which is one, two, three, four. And then on your B day, you go to your B day classes, which is B five, six, seven, and eight, and then your homeroom. The little L1 and L2, that tells you where your lunch is, but you guys probably already know that. Your teachers explain that. So we can go to the next slide. Again, Wellness Wednesdays are important. I encourage you guys to go to your teacher's office hours during this time. If you're struggling, because we kind of know like being home sometimes sucks. Sometimes we're, we want to get up and go out and go to school. So being home all day on the computer isn't the best. So, you know, this is a time when you can either make up work, you need help. We have social work interns and other people in the school to kind of help you through this hard time if you need it. Okay. Next slide. So let me just tell you some of our expectations. As you, as we get, you know, my hope is we'll be getting back into the building sooner than later. Um, but, and I would have said this to you if we had orientation in August. And again, when we had our, our assemblies and we'll continue to do them and hopefully we'll continue to have these kind of assemblies um, virtually. So respect is really important. Make sure you respect yourself and others. We want you to maintain some maturity and integrity and character. It's important. Um, being honest is important. Just because we're home, um, please make sure you're being careful, you know, that we don't want you to be bullied or harassed and we don't want people to do that. So that kind of thing will not be tolerated even if you're at home, okay? There's a lot of adults. We're the largest high school in the building. We have 1,600 students in our, on our roster and we also have over 300, uh, 250 adults who are here to help you. Again, getting to class is important. Um, please make sure even virtually you are in class on time. All right, your cameras, again, you guys have to understand, I've been getting calls from parents saying, oh, my kid got marked absent, my kid got marked absent. And we're telling people, if you're not logging in or you log in and turn off your camera and walk away and the teacher's calling you, then you will be marked absent. The expectation is that your cameras are on and you guys are paying attention and engaging with your teacher, all right? If you have issues, make sure you communicate that. If there's a reason why you really need your camera off or anything like that, make sure you communicate that to your teachers. Some of the things I've actually um, been looking at grades and some of you guys are doing, a lot of you guys are doing really, really well, getting good grades. I want you to keep that up. That's awesome and wonderful. And then there's some folks who are, you know, their attendance isn't great or they're showing up to class, um, turning off their cameras and walking away and not passing. You guys, grades and attendance counts. It does not matter that you're home, all right? Grades and attendance count. So if you just go, oh, well, I logged on, and then you're playing PlayStation or in the kitchen making breakfast or you know texting with your friend or watching a movie on Netflix, you're not participating. And that's why I'm see, you know, people are not doing well. So it's really important that you are focused. I know it's super hard to be focused when you're home and especially if you have little siblings at home or your parents are at work and it's just you and you're laying in bed. You gotta get motivated, get up and start doing work because those are the things that are going to impact you. And I don't want you guys to be in your second, third, fourth year of high school and then go, oh man, I wish I'd have done better in ninth grade, okay? So we can go to the next slide. So some of the things, and I, again, we recognize that being at home is hard and just being in the computer and not having an adult to actually talk to or somebody to see, we recognize this is really difficult. So we really are encouraging you to go visit your teachers during office hours. I know teachers are telling folks to come to meet with them for extra help and extra work. And some people aren't, some people are. So those of you who are continue to do that. Um, those of you who are not, trust me, it only gets harder. 
So it's really important that you start logging in and asking for help, or if your teacher is saying to you, come to my office hours on Wednesday, that you go so that they can help you. Okay, I will tell you this, I used to be an English teacher, I was a middle school teacher and a high school English teacher. If you are the, if you're sitting in class and you're sitting there going like, I don't get this, I guarantee you there's at least five other kids sitting in the class who feel the same way, but nobody wants to say anything. It is important that you say something. If you don't get it, if you don't feel comfortable saying it in front of the whole class or the teacher, send an email, send it in a chat, go see them during their office hours, okay? So it's really important that you advocate for yourself, okay? Next slide. So I have this slide that I always keep on here for every student um, when we come back to remind them that it's important to get involved in our school and community, um, whether it's on an athletic team or clubs or anything like that. Our student council is active virtually as well as our, um, and some of our athletic teams um, are active. As of right now, unless some, and I don't have the list yet, um, but right now, especially when we come back, we will not be holding any after school activities unless teachers do those clubs virtually. Okay, but it's really important to start getting involved. I do know there's a number of online school and community groups and clubs and things like that for students um, virtually. Okay. So it's really important. And I'm going to say this, I don't care about what kind of student you were in eighth grade, whether you were the class clown, you failed everything, you were a pain, I don't care about that. The beautiful thing about moving to high school and the beautiful thing about each marking period is you get to start over whichever way you want, whether it is, you know, I messed up, you know, Monday is a brand new marking period for you to start over and continue to do well or do better if you did it. It's important that you have the right supports and we can help you with that. So if you know you kind of hang out with the class clown who's like, okay, I'm joking around and not focused, make sure that you know, you start looking at your friend group, make sure you have good friends, your teachers, your counselors, your, there are a lot of people in the building who are here to help you. Again, I get that it is super difficult to do that virtually. It's easier because one of the things I miss, Hannah, how I get to know all of you guys, especially the ninth graders, is I go to the lunchroom and I start talking to people and that's how I get to know a lot of the ninth graders. And unfortunately, because we're not in school, I can't get to know you as quickly and as well as I would have. Um, so when I log into your classes and I'm like, turn on your computers, let me see your face. I want to know who you are. Um, you know, that's me trying to get to know you so you have some type of connection to the school. Okay. Um, we can go to the next slide. So we have a lot of clubs and activities at the school. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, a lot of the after school activities aren't happening and some are happening virtually like, you know, I know student council is happening virtually. Um, our Gay Straight Alliance is also um, looking to get started. Um, the National Honor Society is working virtually. Um, but once school comes back in session, we'll figure that out. Okay. So again, we have a list of a ton of clubs. Again, once we come back to school, we'll start doing that. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about athletics. As you know, we have the coronavirus and right now, the only fall sports that were happening was cross country, soccer and volleyball. Those sports are coming to a close this month. We do not know if the winter sports, basketball, wrestling, indoor track, or cheerleading are going to be happening. We won't know until probably the middle of November when the CIAC, that's the organization that takes care of the sports, whether we're going to have those sports available. So as soon as we do, we'll let you know, and we'll probably have the homeroom teachers post any um, tryouts for that. I do know that football was moved to the spring depending um, what happens with volleyball. Okay, volleyball was not canceled. I know they stopped practice um, for, for like two weeks because of, of COVID, um, but it was not canceled, all right? 
I don't know about me. I'm not sure about girls basketball. Again, the fall, the winter sports, we won't know anything about winter sports until mid to end of November. Okay. Um, so this is our PowerPoint. I saw there were a lot of questions that you guys had. So I don't know if Mr. Waj, we want to go through the questions or if you guys have ex other questions that you want to ask, we can unmute you and you can ask. Yeah, right now, everything seems to have been answered. Um, I know you just mentioned um, Mia Salazar just asked about girls basketball tryouts and I know you just answered that. She might've been asking it while, while you were discussing. Yeah, no, I think I saw it. <laughs> yeah. saw oh, that's why you said that? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then there were questions earlier about credits and what a credit is. Um, I believe we answered most of them. Um, so maybe students now, if they wanna put one in the chat or- yeah. So Dave, ask you. David asks, how do we log community service hours? Is there a form we have to get filled out? Yes. Um, can one of the counselors, um, can we unmute one of the counselors and they can ask and they can answer where they can get the form? I don't know if it's electronic. Miss Monahan. Oh, wait, I got a, how do I unmute? Good morning, this? everybody. You can put your community service in servo.city. You have to put it in the URL as S-E-R-V-O dot C-I-T-Y. Okay, yeah, that was fast. Can you put that in the chat? It's servo.city. And that's where you log your hours for New Haven Promise. I just wanna add that it's possible that servo.city isn't yet um, linked up for the ninth graders. So if you just keep track of your hours on a side note, like on a pad or somewhere that you know is safe on your computer with the date and the person you did this volunteer hours for, then as soon as they link up the ninth graders, you'll be able to enter your information. Um, All right, there, any other questions? There seems to be um, a number of ECA questions. So someone asked, do we have to do sports if we go to ECA? Um, sports are up to you. So this is a deal with for all my ECA kids on here. Um, you guys usually are in ECA from one to four o'clock. Most of the sports start um, some, it depends on when they start practice. So that's something that you would have to work out with the coach. Um, if you wanted to do both, I don't know a lot of ECA kids who do both. Um, but that would be a conversation you would have to have with the coach. Okay. Um, also ECA students, well, I don't know how relevant it is now. Um, but I do know some of the, you guys, your parents reached out when we come back from hybrid that there is gonna be a bus from Wilbur Cross to ECA when you guys are done at 1230. Um, but there will not be a bus at 1230 to take you home if ECA is still on hybrid. And the kids in ECA know what I mean when I say that. Okay. Any other so questions? Someone um, is asking, when are we allowed to switch classes again? Um, never. No, I will. <laughs> uh, well, so we all we already did add drop. If there is a specific reason, then you need to reach out to your counselor and administrator. We're not switching classes because um, you know you just don't like Mrs. Johnson and you just think she's mean and you just want to switch her class because, or you know, well, I'm failing that class, so I want to switch to another teacher. You know, we don't switch for reasons like that, especially at this point. You know, if you have an issue with a teacher, like let's just say I'm failing this class and I don't understand why, and the teacher is not explaining it to me and I've reached out, or, you know, the grades aren't updated in power school, make sure you reach out to one of your assistant principals. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll address that with the teacher and talk to you and we'll cut and we'll figure it out from there, okay? And if you don't feel comfortable with your assistant principal, your counselor, and we'll make sure we do that. But we typically don't switch classes at this point unless there's a, like a really serious reason why we need to. Mm -hmm. 
Joe Mar asked about football. Football, my understanding at this point is they reschedule football to happen in the spring. But when, I don't know the details, when the spring comes, you know, this is all, it also depends on what happens with COVID and infection rates. So right now football is rescheduled for the spring. And Claude asked about school plays. Um, there was a question about acting at Cross. I'm not sure if it's an elective based or. So can somebody type in Mr. Delusha's email in the chat for him? So if you're interested in the school play I, and you're not taking any of the acting classes or any of the like, that's fine. You don't necessarily have to take one of those classes to be in the school play. So I do know that this year we're doing Disney's Little Mermaid. Mr. Delusha did have a meeting with the drama club student. So if you're still interested in doing that, um, somebody will type in Mr. Delusha's email and you can email him. And if somebody takes uh, Claude's name down, I can email Mr. Delusha as well. I don't know if that was Claude who well, said that answer the question, asked the question. It, it also, that's also yes, some was. Okay. It might be good to remind the freshmen that they should be paying attention to the homeroom announcements. Oh yeah. Because when it comes time for auditions or or anything that's related to that, that's all going to get channeled through um, their homeroom. So a lot of the questions on here um, about sports, like so, the city will be updating us about sports, um, and all of that will get funneled through homeroom because um, some of those things we don't have answers to now. Okay. So really important that you look at the homeroom announcements. He said it like, I, we're gonna keep on reminding you guys of that. Mm -hmm. More questions. These are really great questions you guys have. I feel bad, we should have did this in September. I don't know why I didn't. How do I find my counselor? Um, what academy are you in? It doesn't tell you in the PowerSchool ribbon when they look, when they log into PowerSchool. No, they're still working on that. All right. So if you type your name in the chat, if, if you just type your name in the chat, um, one of the assistant principals will look it up and then they'll tell you who your counselor is. They can also go on the Wilbercross website under guidance and you will see our names listed under Academy. So at least, you know, it's one of us three or two. Or at the beginning of this presentation, Ms. Johnson listed our names. Yes. I also put in the chat, they can call Ms. Ayala and I put her phone number in. She's not there today. Nobody's in the building today. The building's closed today, but so call tomorrow. Okay. But that's a good question. Are, these are really great questions, you guys. Keep on asking. Anything else? No, nothing. Council, no questions. Counselors, is there anything you guys want to share with your ninth graders? Um, we will be coming into your history classes, um, I think, in the middle of November. So we will be able to meet with you um, more in depth then. Okay. Also, some of you were asking, like, um, you know, you said, oh, I picked a certain class and I wasn't given that class. So one of the things you have to remember that as a ninth grader, there are certain required classes you have to take before you can take a different one. So your schedule was created in a way that will allow you to be prepared to be able to add on to that with a class that you might have really wanted. It becomes easier to get the class you wanted after you've fulfilled some of the required classes, okay? All right, great. Anything else? Counselors, assistant principals you wanna share? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Ms. Brillante got nothing? Counselors, that's it? All right, the comments are going. Yeah, right. there's a lot in the chat where I'm trying so to read. A, a okay. couple of things. A lot of people are asking about, like, when are we going to return? What happens when there's a vaccine? Um, and then there's a few more sports questions. So I tried to answer them in the chat, but um, maybe uh, uh, a we can statements we can make to everyone. 
So the, so this is the deal, kids. I have no idea when we're going to come back to school. I don't, I don't know. The superintendent doesn't know. It all depends on what happens with the coronavirus and the infection rate in New Haven. So once the numbers go down and the health department says it's safe for us to return to school, that's when we'll return to school. I don't know if it's going to be in three weeks, a month from now, five weeks from now, or two months from now, or January. I just don't know. As soon as we know, we'll tell you. Okay. Um, what was the other question? It was about sports. Um, okay. Just, yeah, but we've answered that. We, we have answered that already. And then in terms of the guidance counselor um, issue, a lot of students want to know who their counselor is. And I don't know if people are keeping up with being able to look up their names. Um, if they email any of us, we can answer that immediately. Right. Cody, great question. Is there anything to do after school? Um, every Anything that happens after school would be virtually. We don't have any physical clubs that you guys can come to after school. I do know that um, the National Honor Society, they're meeting virtually, um, as well as student council is meeting virtually. Um, those are the only two after school things that I know that are happening um, virtually after school. And that's about it. You know, there's also we're we're also trying to plan some Wednesday programming. Um, there's some staff and some of the social work interns um, that's in the planning process now. So that's why um, we will notify students once it's ready with a calendar and a schedule as soon as we're ready. Um, but that will get posted in their home room. So as soon as there's an update for that, um, you guys will all know through your homeroom uh, classes. All right. Um, Yoni, you had a question. You said, what about the buses? What about the buses? What, what's specifically your question about the buses? When school does come back into hybrid, there will be buses provided to take to bring you to school and take you home. All right, wrestling again, Wrestling, that's a winter sport. We're not gonna know anything about any of the winter sports until the middle to end of November. All right, and that includes wrestling. Johnson, okay, I, start wrapping up to get ready for the next 10th okay. grade meeting. So um, Yoni, email me about, I don't, I don't understand your question about the seats. I don't know exactly what, what you wanna know about the seats. Um, so you could just email us and and we can go there. I mean, the bus situation is going to be what it's always been. It's going to pick you up in the morning. You're going to get on the bus. They're going to make sure you try to social distance on the bus. You have to wear a mask and they're going to drop you to school. So it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same thing that it always is with social distancing and you have to wear a mask. And once they drop you off, then they'll clean the bus for the next group of kids that get on, go on. Okay. All right, guys. Continue to reach out and ask questions. I appreciate the few of you who put on your cameras and we talked before we met. Um, I know this is not ideal, um, but please, we're gonna reach out to you, reach out to us. We're probably gonna have, I'm gonna definitely make it a point to have more of these uh, Zoom class meetings um, because you guys are asking some really, really great questions. And I love that. And I can't wait to meet you guys in person. Okay, all right. So be well, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Have a great day. Bye.